the real secret of success of our species is that we alone can talk about things that don't exist at all, anywhere, except in our own imagination, in the stories that we invented. All the other animals, they too communicate, but they communicate information about things that really exist. You can never convince a chimpanzee to do something, say to give you a banana, by promising that chimpanzee that after you die, you know what happens? You will go to chimpanzee heaven, and there you will receive lots and lots of bananas for your good deeds. No chimpanzee will ever be convinced by such a story to do anything. Only us, only homo sapiens. The easiest example to give is, of course, religion, but it's not just religion. It's the same with our legal system, with our political system, with our economic system. Money is also just a story. Chimpanzees and dolphins and wolves, none of them man uses money. None of them, they, they can exchange things. I give you a banana, you give me coconut. But the idea of money, this is something unique to humans because, again, it is based on a story about something that exists only in our imagination. We take, say, a piece of paper or a piece of gold, which is worth nothing. You can't do anything with gold. You can't eat it, you can't drink it, you can't wear it, you can't even make weapons out of it because it's too soft. So you take something without any inherent value and you tell a story. Look, this piece of worthless metal or this piece of colorful paper, it is worth 10 bananas. And if enough people believe that story, then it becomes an extremely effective story. Millions of strangers are willing to do amazing things and sometimes terrible things just for these colorful pieces of paper. So this is the power of the human imagination. So we see then that Homo sapiens, in contrast to all the other animals in the world, lives in a dual reality. Other animals, they live inside an objective reality. We humans also live in this reality. We also encounter trees and lions and, and rivers and mountains, but we also have another reality. In addition to this objective reality, we also live inside a fictional reality, a reality that we invented that exists only in our, in our imagination, a reality that contains things like nations, which are just the stories that we invented, which contains money, which uh, is populated by gods, which uh, includes things like human rights, which again, it's our invention. And what is amazing about history is not only that humans inhabit this dual reality, the, the layer of objective reality and or, or on it another layer of fictional reality, what is really amazing is that over time, fictional reality has become more and more powerful until we reach the situation today when the very survival of trees and rivers and lions and chimpanzees depends on the imaginary stories that Homo sapiens has invented. We are living inside the dreams of mythical entities like the European Union and like Google and like the dollar, which exist nowhere except in these fictional stories. And you can test yourself, you can check for yourself, try to see what are you thinking about, what are you worried about during your day-to-day -day life. Many people find that they think very little about real things like trees and rivers and lions, and most of the day they are constantly preoccupied by these fictional inventions like money and like nations and like gods and corporations and things like that.